Blow, blow, leaves, blow. blow. Oh, Point oh five. Point oh five. Oh, I could legally drive. It is Friday the 20th. Our 45th president has just been sworn in. And like any true patriot, I am actually, I'm leaving the country. Uh, I'm getting out of here. I've got my passport and I am leaving for the weekend. I'm just going to go watch the Montreal Canadiens play the Buffalo Sabres. So I'm driving from Buffalo to Montreal with some friends. And we are going to go watch a hockey game and have a wonderful adventure. This is the first new episode of the Weekly Something 2.0. And the only time I'm going to vlog anything is if it's cool. Well, good afternoon. The newlyweds have just run off to go grab the minivan, our chariot, out of here. All right, guys, we're on the second leg of the trip. So we're leaving Rochester right now on our way to Syracuse, right, Syracuse? Syracuse. Yep, Syracuse. We're going to Syracuse to pick up somebody's friend, some guy I don't know, so I can't bet for him. He's probably a terrorist, and he's looking for <laughs> asylum in Canada, which is, I mean, it's super convenient for him that we're going there today. What do you guys say about that? We are like ready to flee America. Quick update, we stopped for some delicious American food before going over to that communist Canada. After this, they have to realize that I'm not stuck in here with them. You're stuck in here with me! As she calmly eats her McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, she looks real terrified. As it is the third leg of the trip right now, we picked up this guy. Say hi, that's Brit. Holy fuck, that's Brit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think that's bright, Brit? <laughs> no. That's brighter! Ah. <laughs> This is the longest I've ever had to wait at the border, so apparently Brit's the one who's going to get us in trouble here. <laughs> thinking about Joe? Oh, just how dreamy our Lord God Emperor Trump is. <laughs> <laughs> This lobby is filled with drunk fucking hockey parents, man. It's, it's astounding. It's like we're in a fucking bar, but we're in the lobby. Yeah, this is a weird country, but I really enjoy it. Not that I'm one to talk, because there's a lot less whiskey in here than there was before. God damn it. You like this guy. It was a Why? <laughs> hey guys, we are in Ottawa right now in an underground parking garage at the Ottawa City Hall. And it turns out there is a women's like March on Washington protest happening here in Ottawa. Yeah, they're gonna have a really long way to march. <laughs> We're gonna go check it out. Alright, we, we found it. There is a big protest happening right here. It looks like it's about to start moving. Holy cow. How does that make you feel having our neighbors to the north? It's actually a, a mixture of emotions because it feels uh, absolutely great that uh, so many people in other countries where they are not directly affected by our election care so much. And really there's so many signs that are like we stand with American women and things like that. So uh, it really shows you the, the connection and the alliance that we have with Canada and how great they are. But then it also kind of makes me feel really bad. I, I suspect that a lot of Americans probably couldn't even name the Canadian Prime Minister. Melody, how are you feeling it's just about that? It's really moving to have another country doing this right now. I, I don't know. I didn't expect this at all, and here we are. Yeah, I was expecting to vlog like a hockey game and getting drunk, but right. how does it make you feel, though? Good. That someone's doing something about it? Yeah, always. <laughs> Count on Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Have you guys ever had a beaver tail before? No. Nope. Honestly, it looks like it looks like fried dough. Fine with me. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> it's a Canadian oh, treat that, that uh, Canadians love and Americans hate. Why would Americans hate it? Is it fattening and delicious? Because it's not the same name. And oh, they're God. so uh, arrogant about it. Fair enough. How are you feeling? Um, very cold. Are you, do, you, do, you, do you enjoy being just handsome all the time? Uh, you know, it's a heavy burden to carry, but uh, <laughs> somebody's got to do it. So, how humble. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is awesome. We're on the next leg of the trip now. We left about 45 minutes ago, and we are on our way to Montreal, where I think we're going to get food at a cat cafe. Joe, what's your favorite part about Canada so far? Is it uh, the fact that we can't see anything? <laughs> yeah, seriously. So we were trying to go to a cafe with a bunch of cats in it, but it was a shit show so there. The uh, you take your shoes off, and I'm allergic, so it's kind of a stupid idea to begin with. But so tell my friends. Would have been fun if you like cats, so not for me. I don't hate them, I just am allergic to them. All right, we're in the middle of downtown Montreal. This is the, uh, what is this? This is the birthplace of poutine, isn't it? Yeah. So we all have a form of poutine. <laughs> all right, so here we are. This is our Airbnb. Let's go for the tour. This is the intro to our place. We are staying in a building that's right next to the Bell Center. Like, there's a bridge between us and the hockey. This is the uh, the main living room area. Here's the first sleeping area right here. Kind of neat. All IKEA furniture. We also have another sleeping area right here. I'll get to sleep on half of this couch. This, this is neat. Here's Montreal from up here. All right, it's game time. So the Sabres are losing right now, 1-0, because their defense is total garbage. But it's okay! I have a very good friend with me. It's a Canadian friend. Okay. I got another good friend with me. It's that guy. Ah, Get in! Montreal's hockey fans. They're super nice. Yeah, no, everyone's been uh, great. A lot of them have been congratulating us and saying, hey, it was a good game. And, and then half of them said Buffalo sucks. And I honestly, I agree with them. Our team totally sucks. But I'm surprised they won. So I'll be happy about it for the night. You know what? Oh, you tell them. Very nice. You your tell voice them. may not be as sexy, but your face is twice as sexy. So you talk and just... Keep it on me, okay, and I'll just mouth what you say. <laughs> <laughs> In a time, one man, one beautiful face. <laughs> this summer, Britain <laughs> will make your panties drop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the biggest difference between, like, a different country that cares about themselves and America. In Denny's, you get everything covered in bacon and sugar. Here, everything has fruit. Yeah, don't worry, there's still some bacon. Yeah, but, like, everything is colorful with fruit and... Like, I'm gonna get The exception that. of this. This is the only thing I've seen with, like, what I'm gonna get. no vegetable or fruit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's just cold syrup in my mouth. So here we are. This is the border crossing. We made it. We didn't tell her about all the alcohol we brought across the border and didn't drink. Ha ha ha! I'm back in America. <laughs> Back in Rochester, and I still have one more leg of the trip to go. This is our chariot for the longest time. It has been nicknamed Dodge Fart Wagon, and it's been it's been a lovely chariot for us. It was kind of comfortable. 
I made it! I go to bed. See you next week.